This lesson demonstrates how to create a macro for text that you type repeatedly. I have learned this tip several times before, but because I don't do it frequently, I forget how to use it. And then either I don't use it and I keep doing things manually and repetitively, or I try to look it up in the word help and it's frustrating. This can be done with a name, a sentence, a paragraph, even a whole page. So what you do is you create a macro. To create a macro, you go to the tools menu, go down to macro and record new macro. Click on that and give it a name. And then you assign it to either a toolbar or a keyboard. We're going to assign this one to the keyboard. Now it's showing me that there will be a new macro called reading social in the normal dot dot document. Here I tell it which shortcut key I want to do. So I'm going to do Alt E. And I just pressed Alt and then E. As you can see, it is currently unassigned. So that's good. We're not replacing some other shortcut key, which you can actually do if you want to change the defaults. But we're just adding a new one. And it's going to save in normal dot dot and click assign. Now you want to close it. And everything that I do from now on, it will record. You can see on my cursor that there's a little tape record icon. And it also added a little window to my toolbar. If you don't have it set up in your toolbar, then it just opens a little window off to the left side of this window and you have pause recording and stop recording. So this records every step that you do. So you want to make sure that what you're doing is the actual steps that you want it to do. All right. So I'm going to type the name reading social. It's kind of a long name and I'm going to need to type it repeatedly. So I want to be able to replace all those letters and keystrokes with two keystrokes. So now I'm done. So I'm going to stop the recording and it just created the macro. So I'm going to press enter just to get down to new line. And now I will press alt E and it types the name reading social. Press enter, type a new line, alt E, alt E, alt E. So you can see this can be very helpful if there's something that you type a lot um, that's long or you want it to always be the same or you just want to cut down on your keystrokes. So you can make a number of these macros like this. Of course, you couldn't make it for every single thing that you type because there aren't enough keyboard options. But for things that you do type a lot and are somewhat difficult to type or long and repetitive, this can save you some keystrokes. And that is the end of this lesson.